welcome to seed to life are you a new gardener who wants to grow something without investing a lot of effort or material then this is the right choice for you don't worry about killing these plants by forgetting to water them or for not having space and sufficient sunlight look at these colorful cuties just water them once every two to three weeks during the growing period and keep them in a miniature pot they don't even demand a lot of sunlight they are not some painted rocks uh, or fake plants, but they are real live plants. This is the first time I'll be growing lithops. Lithops are not some uh, newly developed plants, but they have existed for centuries. They were first discovered by a botanist John Burkle in 1811 while he was on a botanical expedition in southern Africa. He noticed some oddly shaped brown stones in the city of Priska in the Northern Cape province. These stones had a slit on them. Curiously, he picked one of those stones to check and realized that they were live plants, succulents, and that is how the lithops were first discovered. Their name is suggestive of their stone-like appearance because in Greek language, lithos means stones and opsis means like. These plants are also known by other names like B.S. Clucky, that means cattle hoof, or uh, Scapoki, that means sheep hoof, or Pyrdiglo, that means um, horse's hoof. Because these plants look like the hoof of the animals, especially the cattle, sheep, or horses. That is the why they are named by the locals uh, that way. Other than that, they are also known as uh, living stones or pebble plants um, in English language. Now, appearance-wise, though they have a typical rounded or ovate shape, they come in different colors and they have beautiful patterns on them. And this makes them aesthetically pleasing. And that is the reason I ordered some of these plants from Amazon out of curiosity. They came with seeds as well as plants. So I'm going to first plant these plants and then start the seeds. These plants usually are grown in a soil-free medium. I'm using a mixture of potting mix and white crushed marble powder in equal parts. This crushed marble was a waste from the marble gra uh, gravel that I had ordered a few years back. I use it very often to create a potting mix for succulents. Or whenever I have to use sand for extra drainage, I use uh, this um, powder instead. You can use sand or crushed granite or you can simply use a succulent mix. I am going to plant these plants in this ceramic pot now. Our pot is ready. Now let's plant them. Some of these lithops are not looking plump because they have just arrived. But I am sure once they get some water they will be alright. Their roots are also very dried so they de definitely need some watering. Succulents absorb water pretty quickly and as you can see they do not have a very extensive root system. So overwatering can damage them easily. The pot is ready. Now I am going to use a pencil to make a tiny hole for the root and insert the plants uh, with the roots upright. Top half of the plant is left outside and that is about half inches left outside. You can arrange them any way that you like. I have seen people arranging them in circles and um, that also looks very pretty. We don't have that many lithops so I am just going to just randomly place them for now. Our plants are now potted and one of these plants have, a, have this ridge in the middle that is going to split open. 
Lithops grow very slowly. Every year one new leaf comes. The plant splits open to make way for the new leaf to come out. And this one has started splitting. These two also have some shallow divisions and there are like I mean some other plants uh, they are also showing some signs early signs of splitting and they are going to split next. We are done with potting lithops and now we are going to try starting some seeds. This is the seed germination mix that came with this kit and as you can see it is pretty grainy. I'm moistening it. Then just sprinkle the seeds on the top of the mix. The seeds are very small and hardly visible. According to the instructions, I'll keep this pot covered for the next 2-3 to three days and in about a week or two, I should see some germination. If the seeds are healthy, I will see some plants um, emerging and during the seed germination, the mix needs to be consistently moist but not overly wet. I am really happy that the seeds come with some live plants. In case they don't germinate, you will still have some plants and there will be uh, less disappointment. After planting these plants, I am going to place them in a semi-shade area for a week until they settle. After that, we can move them to a spot where they get 4-5 to five hours of morning sunlight and shade in the afternoon. I am planning to grow these plants indoors, so I will be using a grow light. It is almost winter now so they can get a good amount of grow light without uh, having the fear of causing any damage. If the light is less then the leaves uh, lose plumpness and they become elongated and turn greenish. Whereas if they get too much of the sunlight then they do become dull looking and lose color. If you see any of these signs then you can adjust the position accordingly. Let's look at the water requirements. Water lithops only during growing periods and not during dormancy. Water them and let the soil dry, dry out in between two consecutive waterings, which is approximately two to three weeks. It might vary depending on the climate in your region. You can do a finger test to check if the soil is still wet. Uh, so the, at least two to three inches should be dry. Then you can water it again. If it is hard to check the soil with your finger, you can use a moisture meter to check the water in the soil. The growing period is typically from late spring to early summer and late summer to early fall. During mid to early summer, lithops go dormant and also in winter. Avoid getting the leaves wet during watering. You can use a water dropper to gently add water to the soil so that way you don't um, put water directly on the leaves. Let's look at the fertilizer requirement. Lithops need very little fertilizer. You can use a cactus fertilizer or use any low nitrogen high potassium fertilizer. Fertilizers are used only during the growing periods. And that is it for now. I hope you found this video useful. A big thanks to you for watching my videos and supporting my channel Seed to Life. Please click subscribe for more such videos and updates. Click the bell icon to get notified about future videos. And feel free to reach out to me through comments, Facebook, Twitter or Instagram if you have any questions. I am posting the links in the description. I would love to hear your suggestions and would like to know the news of your garden. Happy gardening. Thank you again. See you soon.